Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I know it's been a while since I've done a vegan or a vegetarian dish. So today I'm going to do a vegan eggplant parmesan. Let me give you a little bit of history about what I've done as far as vegan or vegetarian dishes. Back in 2017, my family and I decided to go vegan. So what we did, we kind of cut ourselves off cold turkey and went straight vegan. It lasted for almost a year. We did really well on it. But what we did do was we did take in a lot of carbs, a lot of starches, just to fill, fulfill the need to have meat in our lives. Um, and it caused us to have gained weight and when we got back on the meat, we decided to go basically no carbs. Um, now, fast forward to 2020, and we're deciding to take things slow and go back to veganism. Um, we're just going to ease our way off week by week and finally become completely vegan. I'm almost 36 years old. I've been eating meat for almost 36 years. I mean, when I was in high school, I went a couple years of going without meat, but then I went back to meat when I went in the military. Um, and I feel like I, I love meat. I do, I love the different things that I can do with meat, but I feel in my heart that being a vegan is probably the best way to go for my family and I. Um, I. I still will prepare dishes for my customers um, that like me, and I'm still going to do a good job. I might taste it from time to time to make sure it's cooked the way it's supposed to be. But other than that, I think that my family and I have made the decision to go back to being vegan. So when we were vegan, their favorite dish was my vegan eggplant parmesan. So I am going to show you guys exactly how I made it, how I can make it for you guys. So if you are going through the transition of getting off of meat, you don't, and you're craving that chicken parmesan, you can make eggplant parmesan, vegan or vegetarian, and you're still going to love it and not even miss the chicken at all. So let's get started. So today's video is more so about the ingredients. How can you replace the cheese? How can you make the crust without using eggs and um, all those things without using anything animal based because it is vegan. So if you want to do vegetarian, you can still use the eggs and the cheese and you can make the crust, you know, the way you make a chicken Parmesan but instead of using chicken, you can do eggplant. So the first thing that we're gonna use is this. This is a plant-based egg. Um, I get this at Whole Foods. It's usually $7.99, but for some odd reason, I got it this week at Rung at, at $4.99. So it's a plant-based egg. It's really, really good. We use it for our scramble or our omelets my son, he stands by this and he feels like this tastes way better than eggs. My daughter, she's still kind of iffy about it. She will eat it, but she'll eat it with ketchup or hot sauce on it. It's weird. And the next ingredient is this. I also got this from Whole Foods store. It's a plant-based mozzarella cheese. Um, this rang up as $2.99 this week. Now, I, I'm not sure what the regular price on this is because I usually get my plant base from Kroger and um, using my Kroger Plus card, I'll get it for about two bucks, I think. And then also here's the main ingredient, Parmesan. It is also plant based. And this rang up as, this is a little bit more expensive, but it rang up as $4.99. And I think I also got this on sale as well. So those are the ingredients that I am switching the animal products from to the plant-based products. So I'm gonna show you how to use those. If you don't 
want to use the plant-based products, which um, I think this does have soy in it. If you're not, if you're going soy, completely soy free, this does have soy in it. I have another recipe that I can use that I use as um, a, um, egg. So, and it's usually with flaxseed, it's more of a paste. That's all you need it for is a paste, but it, it, it's usually with flaxseed. That's for another day and another time. So, also, I make my own breadcrumbs. I'll show you how to make your own breadcrumbs on another video. So, this is the, the breadcrumbs you're going to use to coat your eggplant as well. But, that's for another video. So, let's get started. I am going to show you how I make my plant-based egg a plant parmesan. Oh my gosh. So let's get started. So I'm not going to add salt to this mix or onion powder or garlic powder or anything like that because it, the eggs themselves are already basically seasoned. All of that is already in the plant-based egg mix. So I'm just going to eyeball it, but because I've been doing this long enough that I know what a quarter cup of cheese should look like. But you can use a cup if you need to. So I'm using my home mandolin slicer. I usually use my professional one, but just to give you guys a better idea about how much of the thickness of the slices that you want, I use this one. Um, yes, I goofed and I did it upside down, but this is about how thick you want the slices. Once you add your salt and pepper, you're going to let the sauce simmer for about 40 minutes. Make sure you test your oil before placing the eggplant in. What I do is I take the flour or breadcrumbs and I put it in. If it starts cooking immediately, then I know that my oil is hot enough and it's ready. So once you remove the eggplants from the oil, you can put it on like a paper towel with a plate or a drying rack. I use both. So for a little razzle dazzle, I like to add some fresh chopped spinach. I love green leafy veggies to any of my dish. So I added a little chopped spinach. So you're probably wondering why I didn't add oregano to my sauce. I don't add oregano to my Parmesan sauces because of the fact that it's not a spaghetti sauce. It's a Parmesan sauce. So I add, I did not add 
oregano because I like a little bit more of the sweetness of the tomatoes when it comes to the eggplant parmesan. Oh my gosh, guys, it's smelling so good. I could just take a slice of the eggplant and dip it in the sauce. Oh my goodness. If you guys weren't looking, I would totally do that. As you can see, I am adding more sauce, but I'm not putting it all over every piece of eggplant because I don't want my eggplant soggy. I like to have the crispness of the breading. So you can add more sauce if you like, if you like a little soggy or whatnot. But me, I like to have a little crunch to my eggplant. Just shred your Parmesan cheese all over the dish as much as you would like or you could just be generous with it and that's what I really like to do because it is an eggplant Parmesan. Voila, this has my whole house smelling delicious. Okay, so now it's time for the taste test. We'll see how this goes. literally it's literally the best eggplant parmesan that I've ever had it has all the flavors even though I didn't add salt to the egg as I told you guys that the egg was already the egg was already seasoned because it was a plant-based egg so basically they put all the seasonings in it the onion powder the salt all of that it comes together with the eggplant and it's very 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 rich and then on top of that my marinara oh so good has all the seasoning to it i let it simmer for 50 minutes and it was able to get every single flavor and it, everything that was dehydrated it was able to hydrate so it made it absolutely wonderful this is probably the best eggplant parmesan i've ever tasted hands down vegan vegetarian whatever it's the best eggplant parmesan i've ever had i hope you guys enjoyed this like subscribe comment let me know your thoughts because i'm gonna let you know mine and this a1 thank you come again